Hey, this is Randall Levels, and I'm doing this video for uh, Dagan Smith, and it's for his training that we just went through, and it was called the most powerful wealth creation force on earth. Now, it's been some time that I've gone through a lot of the trainings with Dagan, but here's one thing that you have to understand about training is that you know, training is just training until you are ready to, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to say it, ready to submit and lay down your ideas for, you know, what's really happening out there because, you know, with your prospects. Because what's really happening is, is as long as you're imposing your will upon your prospects, you're fighting an uphill battle. You're fighting a losing battle. Um, you're you're fighting in the dark. The one thing that uh, there's a there was a post that I put on my Facebook page is that your customers are not your enemy. They are actually your friend. They are they will come to you and tell you what they want. They will come to you and they will cry out for help. In little subtle ways, in little subtle ways, they will tell you what they like to look at, what they want to hear how they want to hear it. And I've been with Dagan for, um, you know, since 2010. I've been following since 2010. And the one thing that I realized is that it took me suppressing my own thoughts and my own will in order to understand the message that he was bringing, in order to understand that and to see the different nuances that um, he was bringing to light about um, your prospects and email and um, the images and the metrics, the numbers, a lot of those things didn't make any sense. So therefore, I was unable to receive them. It didn't make sense until I went out and started getting some numbers myself, didn't start getting some prospects and hearing their concerns and their, their challenges. And I'm not talking about the whiny people the ones that just are going to complain all the time. I'm talking about the ones that really wanted to succeed. And it comes from a place of you, you know, you go through stages, you want the money first, and then you want, uh, then you just want to get some of the programs over with, you want to get them done. But then it comes a place where you start working with other people and you start to understand their feelings and their pain. And, you search out for solutions for that. That enlightenment it, in itself is the one thing that teaches you and gives you all the aha moments you want that you're going to ever need because you'll be able to recognize it quicker with, with the other people that you deal with. You know, I've been doing a little bit of coaching with um, some people that have, have some issues, and because of the way that I've been able to relate with them, um, you know, first we became friends first. We, you know, I didn't just tell them buy. I, I really never tell any of the people that I coach with to buy anything. They ask me. And that's what you want from your prospect. You want your prospects asking you, hey, where do I get this great stuff? Where do I get this information? Where do I get to know what you know? How do you know all this? It was because I opened myself up to understanding the value of a customer and how to provide value. Um, so if you're thinking about hopping on one of Dagan's webinars or his um, uh, newsletter, I highly, highly suggest that you do so because it will be the best move that you will ever make in your business. Um, it's because of the breadth of experience that he has, and it's because of the deep caring for his craft, you know, his craft. He, he, he loves it. And I just said that the other day. I said, I mean, I just love this stuff. And, I, you know, I, when, after I said it, I was like, you know, that's kind of <laughs> that's strange saying that I love this stuff. But I do. I love seeing what makes people tick. I love asking the question, well, why? Why is it that you think that you have an opportunity that you can't get anyone to buy? Why do you think you have to get someone to buy? 
the question should be is what message should I be bringing to them and what should I be portraying that will ask that have them ask me hey where do I get that thing where do I get that cool thing that you have I'm gonna tell you um, a little story I was working in a church and um, I was putting up the suspended ceiling and uh, it was a 40,000 square foot church I was putting up the suspended ceiling and I was putting up I was painting the whole church it was like 400 39 gallons of paint. Uh, it was like 489 when it got done. It kept adding a little bit more. And as I was going, um, I had hired some contractors to get um, get us out of a jam because inspections were coming and, and there was, you know, all the trades all over the place and everybody was jammed together. Well, in order to get myself out of a jam because I was doing two jobs at once, um, something that no one ever in their right mind would ever do you know, led me in the long hours. I, there was days when I didn't go home. I'm sleeping on rolls of carpet and all this stuff. And, you know, finally one day somebody said to me, hey, you look like you need to go home. It was after a three and a half day stint that I stayed up awake, awake all night because some of the people that I hired had quit. Well, as I was doing this job, I realized something that, you know, I had some scaffolds. They're called Baker scaffolds. They're six feet tall. And they're designed for you, they're lightweight, and they have wheels on them, and they're designed for you to be able to, um, you know, do interior work. And they have, you know, the wheels on them, they roll very easily. There's this little, or not little, there's this mechanism that you can put on, and it's called a crawler. And what it is, is it's a, um, it's a gear-driven wheel, and you put this thing on there, and then you put a drill up on the top. What that affords you is you're able to um, push a button and it will travel you across the floor. It's OSHA safe, it's OSHA approved, so it was something that you know you can use inside of a commercial building like that. In the past, when I was doing the ceilings, I would be up and down and up and down the scaffold. By the end of the day, my knees and my back was killing me because I went up and down maybe 300 times in one day. When I bought this unit, I actually, there was times when I, you know, you know, you take a lunch break every four hours. There were times when I only came down off the scaffold three times because of implementing a little tool that took away all the effort and all the stress. What it also did was I was able to bring my kids in. They were, you know, they were youngsters. This was like in 2009. Um, so this would have been five years ago. And they were youngsters. And once I implemented that tool into the business, even a child could use it. It saved me time, made me money. The kids had a great time riding it. I mean, everything was just great. And all the other contractors came up to me and they were saying, I've never seen one of those. How did you, where did you get that from? How did you do it? You know, I told them, but the thing is, is that opening myself up to a new and better way of doing things, it wasn't new. I mean, it was, it was just, it just made sense. It made all the sense in the world. To them, they'd never seen it. They wouldn't have bought it if they didn't know it was. They never used it. But it made sense. And once I implemented it, it made everything so much easier. Um, so if you're considering an online business, if you're considering making your business grow, letting giving your, chance, your business a chance to grow, you want the easiest and the most least resistant route that you can go. It doesn't mean that you're not going to have to do work. You're still going to have to put in the work. But the thing will happen is, is you're going to say, I love this and I want to do more. I've tasted the blood and I want more. And if you want to taste the true feeling of success, it's not the amounts of money. It's just knowing that you can outdo your last performance. If you want that feeling in your business, you're going to have to empty yourself a little bit and, and, and be willing to serve your prospects, be willing to serve your audience, uh, be willing, you know, and it doesn't just stay in this business. It translates into the other things of how you treat your family, how you treat your, the, the, the gas station attendant, the person at the grocery store, 
it translates into everybody. It, I mean, it just shows on you. So if you're really, really open and ready to open yourself up to that, I really highly suggest that you uh, you give Dagan Smith a shout. You can look him up. You can find him. Um, I'm sure he'll he'll very much appreciate it. So for now, this is Randall Lowe's, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye bye.